Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. The essence of this video is to introduce you to the Canvas app environment and get you familiar with the studio. The first thing to do is to select Power Apps, select Blank App, under Blank Canvas App, click on Create, give your app a name. The format is Tablet, click on Create. Canvas App Studio have five major components that you should be familiar with. The first one here is the side menu bar. The second is the top menu bar. The third is the formula bar. The fourth is the properties pane. The last here where we have screen is the footer. Now let us look at how we can use all of these to put an app together. If you select the tree view, we have two major components on the tree view. We have the screens and the components. The components is used for building reusable feature. When you build a component, you can use this to build features that you can always reuse in your application. Now on your screen, another name for screen is pages. And this is where you actually insert and you add in other objects that form your app. Automatically, you have a screen here once you create your application, which is screen one. And the best practice is for you to rename your screen and every object that you add onto your Canva. And I'll just name this first page. Then add another screen and you can add different kinds of screen, blank screen, split screen, sidebar, admin, section, footer. But the main one that uh we'll be adding here is our blank screen we are going to select a blank screen and we'll rename you can just rename this second now we are going to be adding different objects onto our first page so we are going to click on insert the second item on the side menu bar and we have so many things that you can insert i've selected the text label from the popular item now we have popular we have custom inputs all of these are items are things that you can actually bring onto your screen so under popular these are the most used object so for text label that i've added onto the screen it has properties for every object added onto your screen as properties and the proper you can use uh, and adjust the properties here for instance this label that we have added here has different property one of the properties is text property you can change this text Let's type in omolola now you can also decide to align your text omolola to either center or right automatically it is aligned to center and you can just come here and select align to center So IntelliSense will bring what you're about to, it will suggest to you what you are writing. Now, this has been a change using the formula bar. I can also do the same thing by using my property spin. So I can come here and change the name from Omolola to Omolola Alfred. I can align to write using text alignments from my property spin. It will align the text to right. So I'll go back and align it to center using the te using the text alignment on the properties pane. Another thing that you add to your page is edit form. Which takes us to the next item on our side menu bar, which is data. You can connect your data from different kinds of data sources into your Canvas app. You can use Dataverse, you can use, you can use Dataverse, you can use SharePoint, you can use SQL. Here I'll be using SharePoint. So I'll just type in SharePoint and I'll select SharePoint. I'll connect and I'll connect to a recent site. So I'll navigate to the list I want to bring into my Canvas app. I'll click on connect. Now I can connect my form to the list that I've selected, which is this. So there's a popular saying that when you're working with Canvas app, whatever you see is what you get. So you can, you can adjust this based on your preference. 
you can also make your app more beautiful by looking at the properties of each of the object that you have added for instance i'll select my i'll go to my tree view from your tree view you can inspect all of the screens that you have added and all the objects that are on the pages that you have added the label i'll select the label which is label one and i will just adjust the label using the properties and i'm going to use that on the formula bar i'll go ahead to border color i'll go ahead to border thickness and make my border thickness four now you'll be able to see the border thickness i can also do the same thing on the properties pane so if i go to the properties pane i will select label to show that i want to adjust the label and i'll go to the properties pane and i would look for border i can see border here i can change the style to dotted change the width to eight and change the color from blue to wine you can adjust this as you please another thing that we are going to be bringing to our page is button so we'll go back to the side menu bar select insert and add button by adding button you can also adjust this to suit you now i've added this object it also has property every object added to the canvas app has properties and i would go to the unselect property which means that once i select this button behave in a certain way and the behavior i want is to navigate to the next page my second i can go to my tree view to check the name of my second page which is my second screen the name is second so when i select this button i want you to navigate to second so now this button will navigate to second another thing that i want to change in the properties of the button and i'm going to i can do that from here using the formula bar i can select the property text and adjust it using the formula bar i can also go ahead to the properties pane here and adjust this and say next page is is going to change to next page you can also go ahead change the color of the button either from use uh, either by using the formula bar or the properties pane so anything that you want to adjust you will select it first and use either the formula bar or the properties pane so i can just come here and go to color so this color will help me change two things i can change the color of the text which now i have white written and uh, i have next page in color white i can change it to color orange and i can change the fill that is the background color of my button i'll select the button again and go to color and choose this one and i can decide to change it to color green remember whatever you design is what you get so on the second page now i'll go ahead and select the fourth item on the menu side menu bar which is media this media allows you to upload image video audio files that you can use in your application so you can come here So once you click on upload, it will take you to all the files you have on your system and I've added apps Jollof up here on the page that you have selected. Now we can see app Jollof. Another thing that you can add using the top menu bar is you can actually change the theme of your application. So let us go back to tree view to see what is going to happen. So I'm going to go to the top menu bar and select theme and change the theme to there's so many themes here we can just change it to rose now our theme has changed 
on the first page and on the second page. The next thing that I'll be showing us is the fifth item on the side menu bar, which is Power Automate. This is where you can connect your application to Power Automate. The properties and the components of the Power Platform work better together. This is where we can actually add Canvas app to Power Automate. Advanced tools, this is where we can actually test the workings of our application. So when you build an application for your organization or for any organization that you're consulting for, you can actually test how the app is working. Is it slow? What is the category, the operation? All of this, you can test it here. Let's go back to our Canvas app. Now this feature is one of the most amazing feature that has been added. Once you have finished creating your app or in the course of creating your app, you add things like variable, you add things like collection. So you can use this search to actually search where your variable is. So you can just search for a particular variable that you have named and it will pop up here. Then the next item that we'll be looking at on our top menu bar is background image. Can I add a background image? to my application yes to do that let us insert a new screen a blank screen and on the blank screen it automatically show the theme that you have selected when we selected theme so you can also decide to change the background color of this page so I can just come here and change the background color note it will only affect the page that you are that you have selected but when you use theme it should go across all the pages that's the difference now we have our background color here i can decide to now add background image so i can use the image that i've already added to my media but i can decide to upload another image to select it the image is going to show on the page that you want it to show see it is not showing on other pages and if you go to your media this image that you have added to your background image has been stored in your media and you can use it anywhere on your application so you can decide to go to the properties pane of this page the properties pane of this page and change your background image from this to app jollof it is going to automatically change you can decide to change it back and also you can change the position of your background image you can make it center you can make it feel you can make it fit stretch or tile moving on to settings and this is where you can actually set and control how you want your app to be you can add an app icon you can edit the icon add another image you can also decide to change the display of your application so currently the orientation is in landscape you can change it to portrait once you change this to portrait you would see that the size of your display has changed from tablet to a phone size so you can come back to your setting and change that back display landscape apply you can also decide the feature that you actually want to see on your application so you can check and you will see some features that are in preview and you can add them or remove them here you can also add some features that are currently experimental feature and you can check to see some feature that are retired and you can also check the version and the environment that you are currently working on from your support. Now, another thing that we'll be looking at is share. You can share your app with other people from here. But before you share your app, you have to save your app first. Now, this is App Checker. This is where you check if you have errors in your application. You can check for the formula. It will show you if your formula app error. It will show you if the issue with your application is the wrong time. Maybe it's slow. It will show you the performance of your app, the accessibility, and the rules. Another thing is that you can add comments. And this will help you to know where your application is. Then the next thing is, if you click on this, you can actually play your app and see how your application is working. Click on Don't Show Again so that this will not continue popping up. You can also use this to save your application. Anytime you're building your app it is advised that you save your app so that it can power apps can continually save your app for you every two minutes but you have to save it first once you are done saving your app the next thing that you should do is to publish your application so when you've created one version of your app and you come to make edits if you don't publish the next version 
and you have already shared this application with your users they would not see the new version that you have edited unless you publish so if you click on share it takes you to where you can actually share your application with people so it says share lola which is the app that we have um selected and you can share with people in your environment if i just type in people in my environment it will show me the people that i have in my environment i can share with oluwatobi yusuf as either a co-owner when you share your app with somebody as a co-owner they would be able to edit the application or you can just share with them as a user so you don't need to check the co-owner you can see that co-owner can use edit share app but not delete or change the owner but they can edit and they can share so they can make changes to your application when you're sharing you can add email so you can just add a message to let them know what uh, the app lola is about introduction and you can decide to just upload an image image probably the icon that depicts what your app is talking about so you can add the icon or the profile picture of this application in here and you can just go on and share once you're done sharing your app let's go back to power apps the last thing that we'll be looking at is the footer of our application now from the foot of our application you can actually change what you're working on so i can go to first page or second page or the screen three from the footer i can also change the size of the canva from here and this brings us to the end of the introduction to canvas app environment thank you so much don't forget to like share and replicate bye